give a fuck. Like, especially the, with they air. At the end of the day, like a nigga been around for a long time. That shit. I went to jail, came home and expanded. You know, it was just back then. It was fighting. Uh, house parties and all that shit was fighting somewhere along the line. Somebody, said, you know, how that shit go? How I feel about it? I feel like it's pointless. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you got a bunch of kids inheriting some shit they don't understand. So it's putting a strain on our growth as a whole, bro. You gotta think, Yellowstone and Thurlow, man, them two legendary spots in the city, and that shit oh, two three man. minutes, two three minutes away from each other. Man, niggas don't know how much power. <laughs> Y'all ain't heard, y'all ain't heard Just a dirty third, dirty uh, third You know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's going down, it's going down You know what it is, man. Once again, once again, tell a friend, tell a friend. When all come all. It's Miggity Mike D. Boss, Al Corleone, man. You tuned in to the Dirty Third Podcast. It's the one-on-one with Miggity Mike D, man, I got a special guest, special family member. Because I told him I don't bring guests to this one, you know. We take guests to the podcast, let them, let them do that shit over there. Right now, I got family in the building, man. I'm talking about real extended family, man, for real, man. Who got it? Hey, man. Allegedly. <laughs> My Allegedly. motherfucking favorite young nigga out here doing Allegedly. this shit, man. Go, go and get your introduction in, man, because I'm just ready to go there, man. Yeah. I swear, man. It's overdue. Hey, man, it's addicted to the fast like Boo got it. Mr. Rally Flags and Duffel Bags. Mr. National Dope Boy Association, man. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Turn the Streets Up, man. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Brain of People Motivation, man. Mr. Get them to your front door, man. I'm talking about straight to the door. Ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> All that and some more shit, though. Hey, man, we ain't sitting back waiting on them chicks to come, man. We making the chicks come to us. You know what I'm talking about? Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> no, I'm talking about? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> sure. Allegedly. It. For those that's been living under a rock or just those who don't know, man, let them know what side of town you repping, where you from, how long you been in this game. You know what I'm saying? Let's get all the formalities out the way before we just go down this path, man. Man, I ain't gonna lie, this shit. It's a journey, man. I'm, I'm, I come from Yellowstone. I'm from Yellowstone. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? 021. Black for me, my life for me. For real. But, 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 but see, it, it kind of it get tricky too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like 45 2, 45 played a major part in me being who I am. Man. Broadway, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be shit without Broadway. So, you know, it's kind of like a split between Yellowstone and Broadway, but. You merge them bitches together and you get Bugatti. Oh, we, man. That's how it is with me, man. You go, I got third war in, in uh, Sunnyside, just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what molded and shaped me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I can't ever forget about Sunnyside, you right, know what I'm right. saying, bro? That was part of that go out there, get that for the cheaper, come to the hood and make it saying? do what it do, you, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, yeah. real talk, I can get, I can dig it with a broke shovel. Nah, you sure. like me, you a bi-coastal nigga, nah, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah, and it's real, though, because anytime you a real nigga can go hood to hood, get money, Players to players. They know it, OG. They know it. They know I'm different, man. You yeah. Think. You got to think. Like, motherfuckers my age, I can't even really relate to because I went outside with them people, man. I dropped that in the eighth grade. I was hustling with my mama and them partners. You see what Come I'm on, saying? Man. I was hustling. I was getting the game from my mama and them partners. So yeah. it's like, it's just I always been different for me. I done been in dead end. I done been on the west. I done been here. I done been there. And, and, and in every project I done touched, they gonna say the same thing. That's same the thing. thing. He stood on yeah, ten. Yeah, he stood on he ten. doing Just what he do. Some money. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They know. They know. And for those who don't know, you about to find out, man. Cause see, this ain't that shoot 'em up, bang bang. You know, uh, catch you slipping and shoot up your grandma house and all that old dumb shit that's going on. Like this is shit that a nigga my age can relate to, can feel. It's like I hear a. Uh, a brand new Jeezy, Gucci, a Pokey. It. It's like you all three of them wrapped in one, bro. I be getting that shit all the time, too. I, I swear, it man. It's crazy. It's like, you know, because if you go to your first uh, mixtape that you dropped, motherfucker heard Pokey all over that motherfucker. Like, saying, you know what I'm saying? Rest in poop, peace, Poop P, man. And before we go anywhere, my baby. Only the greatest, man. Man, that boy would be like, man, because he know I like to stay relevant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Call me the flyest old nigga yeah, out here. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? That's me. But because I fuck with y'all. You know what I'm right, saying? Sure. And Pook, I always been like, man, because when I, I think I heard that first one, I was like, man, you fuck with, you fuck with got it. Man, that's my man. What you mean? Yeah. He 
He said, man, hey, bro, he that. I said, man, he can't not be that the way he talking, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he don't do a bunch of, he didn't do a bunch of verifying Coastline. and stamping and a bunch of dick riding and all that shit, man. So I knew it was different. You know what I'm saying? And then this was his up, up. He up, up at this time. So if anything, he going to be like, man, oh, poop, fuck them niggas. Man, poop don't <laughs> fuck with niggas for one. How, how, how y'all relationship jump off, man? Because I, I want to make sure that we, we give my boy the props that's man, needed, poop, man. Man, Pook always been one of the ones from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Pook. Shit, Pook was like a screw baby type shit. Pook was a Frizz On the cool, huh? Frizz wasn't rapping like Frizz. Y'all nigga rapping from outside, so... I kind of always looked up to Pook in a way, you know what I'm saying? I right. kind of always knew who he was before he knew who I was. Did like, you know his brother? Like, that's like, that's my baby too, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, as the years went by, a nigga, you know, we end up recrossing each other paths and, man, what was that? Ooh, ooh, man, that's such and such, like Kim Folk just been a theory guy. And then the relationship formed from It started forming from yeah. there, yeah. You know so it was on some rap shit. I know y'all was getting money, but like. Nah, it was really before the rap shit. It was before the oh, rap that's shit. that's why it's so deep. Yeah, it was before the rap shit, and then when the rap shit just started coming about, he put yeah, his hands naturally. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's bad. And that I shit kind of fucked me up too, OG. A lot of motherfuckers don't be knowing, like, that's my foundation. Poop P, Rock, Zay did it. Like, just, Shout that's out my to both them niggas. That's I love them. all them boys, yeah. man. BC, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Texas that's Black, the gorgeous Texas, Mac. The gorgeous man. Mac. I got to get him in here, man. I swear, yeah. man. Boys don't know. We got some crazy history, Listen man. Listen to this South Side shit, man. Yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? like, you coming off that tree, man. So it's like some big shoes you feeling right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't, like I say, you not doing this drill time, you know. You doing your time. It, and it's it's so easy to do cause it's easy to do cause it's I'm you. trying to I'm not trying to do them. Mm -hmm. It's easy for me to do cause like it ain't no shortage of events when I go in more, it ain't no shortage of events. Right. Like, I grew up in this shit, I was birthed in this game, so I understand it different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to tell so you. Like, like when I talk, Oof. when I when I go, when I you know my recording process be different. Okay. These niggas trying, they trying. And no disrespect to nobody. I fuck with everybody doing their thing. Like, I love my city. I love everybody in position. I'm rooting right. for everybody. But a lot of motherfuckers be trying to keep up with a wave or a certain song. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Anybody who know, man, 23 been fucked up. You know what I'm saying? 20. But I've been documented. In the 20. Wait, you, you had just got out of. I had got out in 21. So you got out in 21. That's when, that's when I bumped Maybe. back into you yeah. again, right? Yeah, yeah. So. When you left, it was one way. And then when you came back, how you felt when you came back after doing that shout beard, man? I know you was fucked up. Honestly, OG, you know, I can't do no lying to you. It really didn't sit in until shit started getting slow. Ooh. Like when shit started getting slow for me, that's when I started realizing, like, hold on, man, this shit really different. The people different. Like, I'm I came home thinking, like, man, I'm happy to be back with my people. You know what I'm saying? Like. Reunited, whatever, whatever. <laughs> man, these people did. ain't, man, these people weren't nobody the same. You know, they were just. Uh, 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 we talked about it a little bit yesterday, man, but go ahead and run it to me. Folks. The main reason, you know, a lot of these niggas changed up, because you missed the uh, 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 Trump era that gave out a bunch of. I missed the easy era. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the easy era, man. I, I missed the easy bake era, man. Yeah, they, they boys got a hold of them 10s and 20s, got it. And thought they were the bring me. I knew it was fucked up when <laughs> I'm in the hood one day. And certain somebody, we having a conversation amongst the young niggas. And certain somebody, it's a nigga I know ain't never even had more paper than me. So I know he ain't got more paper than a nigga he told me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he, he ran, he just, yeah, man, that nigga thing. And that nigga, I'm like, damn, hold on. When you got on his level, when yeah, you start you, comparing I, yourself to him. <laughs> so it just be so crazy. Niggas just that PPP fuck the streets oh. up. It made everybody equal and niggas didn't respect the process no more. And I realized that once shit started getting slower and motherfuckers' true intentions started, they patience, you know what I'm saying? When, when niggas stop saying, yeah, motherfucker, patience ain't as strong as they was for you. You know, niggas just, yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, I'm talking about you damn nigga telling nigga, go shine your tires, spit shine your tires or something. Now Jump he up quick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit started slowing down. And nigga just, man, who that nigga think he is? Man, man these niggas be hoes out there, man. I'm going to fuck you up. You know, you know, my family owned Bams Auto in detail. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was so much free money out here, got it. Man, we couldn't even get nobody to wash cars. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Yeah, got bougie. And Bams been, Bams been living there since I was a little boy. Come on, bro. You know since you was Man, a since I was a little boy, nigga wanted to be there. 
Bro, we've been in business longer than you've been alive. That's what I'm saying. You now, ain't no tell Who you gonna run into being up there so niggas want to be there? So it just, man, the shit fucked up. That was always the, if I fall off my feet, I'm gonna go up to Bams, give me a J, wash some cars. And shake back. Shake back right quick, man. We couldn't find dope fiends to wash cars, fine. I'm, I'm finna tell you something though, OG. Y'all era was, I can, I can say this because I was outside, you feel yeah, me? Y'all, yeah. Y'all era was a lot of a lot different from our era. Right. It's like right. give me a comparison. Give me let, 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 let me hear it. Cause see, your opinion to me matter because you one of the young niggas that I respect. Like, I don't just not I listen to your music. I respect your that's point it. of view. Yeah. I that's I feel it. It's like that's how I know you you part of this bloodline. It's in your blood, man. That's why I know what's going on. Nah, Before I knew what was sure. going on. <laughs> It's nah, your bloodline, sure. man. So that, tell me what you think the difference between like coming up and the then and now, like difference between us between now and then is like back then niggas had a little bit more patience. Nigga had a little bit more patience, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and man, niggas was men back then. They was gonna go work for something. They ain't gonna go grind. Nigga had too much pride. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was really working. You feel me? Oh, niggas man. were really like niggas were really. If it got slow, we hit the highway. You feel me? They were really combing the streets. Yeah, like combing the streets like that. Nigga want it so quick and so fast to where it's like, you know, a nigga fall short, a nigga go get a pick, nigga go get a win, and play the cone and run it back up. Man, a nigga fall short today, they don't know how to navigate their way back to the top, and they go crazy, and that's why it's so much. That's why it's so much war and chaos in the streets because. These folks and gave these people a taste of the good life and they don't know how to they you know what I'm saying? These people never had a thousand dollars. These people ain't never had shit. And they come up with 20 and now all of a sudden they the man around this they motherfucker. Because it's it's very important for motherfuckers to understand that the difference between then, then and that's a great uh point you did, is we came from eight for fifty, <laughs> sixteen off a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then before that. We was doing 10 off 100 and 20 on the weekend. Man, I'm glad Imagine you said, that, man. I'm glad you said Yeah, so I know what coming all man, the way I'm from the bottom to I can scratch that. back. It's not a problem. I'm glad you said that, OG, because it's like niggas don't know how good they got it. These, hmm. ni these hmm. new wave hustlers really spar. I know I'm familiar with that terminology. You said the right. eight for fifty. And the, you feel me? You couldn't get in the game. Both for twenty five. You couldn't get in the game with twenty dollars like that. Man. Nigga ain't want to serve you. Nah. You had nah. to have at least fifty dollars. At least. At least fifty dollars. And a nigga shining on your feet. That nigga looking at I'll you like a smoker. Go half with a nigga or something. Yeah. Yeah, but you coming in the game with fifty. So for a nigga like, man, you got niggas these days. You front of man, you front of niggas something they think they doing you a favor. <laughs> you front of niggas something they want the, the COD price. <laughs> you feel me? And then they ain't gonna pay you unless you got something. <laughs> then they ain't gonna pay you to your brain, so yeah. that's my money. They, they gonna, look, 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 they gonna, this is how they do it. And I know where you yeah, going, so this way kill it. This way kill it. And I, I'm talking about, man, look, if you understand, you understand. If you don't stay lost. Hey man. Uh, sure hey, uh, got it. Um, what's up, boy? You all right today? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, see, what it looking like over there? We on the same time and we on different time. No, 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 no. I just, you know, boy just left. We on some, oh, okay. Uh, same thing. Let you say this here. Nah, man, I ain't heard from Kylie yet, man. I'm waiting on Kylie to hit me back, man. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I was just checking with you because uh, we going to go to the movies with our gals later on, yeah. huh? Yeah, it, man, let you say, yeah, boy. Oh, I, I oh got I'm on my way. You ain't got nothing. A nigga is on stall mode, I'm, boy. I'm going to tell you what that is, though, OG. The game lacking morals, man. Niggas don't there have morals go. no more. That's why. You think we can get this shit back to a, a place of understanding, man? Like, with the streets? I think so. I think it's going to be hard to do, but I think it can be done. Right, right, right. And I think it's going to... I think it can be done. It just... It's more them than it is us. So it's going to have to take... Somewhere along the lines, this person or that person gonna have to be, you know, have a meeting of the minds and bring that Start shit together. Start shit back together. And bring that shit together. And once they see, see them sucker niggas just doing what they can get away with. Because mm. the real niggas ain't, you know, we just ain't feeling that shit right. Anywhere around the real, you man, man. That's how a real nigga feeling right now. You know, that's that's they, man. But if, it, if enough of us start coming together and controlling the narratives, then they gonna have to follow suit because they, they imitate our lifestyle. They getting paid off of 
who we are. Exactly. They portraying who we are. So exactly. if, if if we come out of our shell huh. and let them see how this shit really go, right? There ain't gonna be no room for them kind of men. Man, they gonna have to get out the way. And speaking of that, it's just like you know, you know, why block O two one this you? This goddamn third ward in Yellowstone, man. How you feel about that shit, man? Like, just honestly, from, from like, yeah, OG. I right, look, check this out. I, I mean, know as you much going. as you can, as much as you can go. No, I don't give a fuck. Like, I really want motherfuckers to understand this is, might be the core of the fucking problem, man. I don't give a fuck, like, especially the, with they air. At the end of the day, like, a nigga been around for a long time. That shit, I went to jail, came home and expanded. You know, it was just back then. It was fighting. Uh, house parties and all that shit was fighting somewhere along the line. Somebody said, you know, how that shit go, how I feel about it. I feel like it's pointless. I feel like <laughs> I feel like you got a bunch of kids inheriting some shit they don't understand. So it's putting a strain on our growth as a whole, bro. You gotta think. Yellowstone and Third Ward, man, them two legendary spots in the city. And that shit Always two, three been. minutes, two, three minutes away from each other. Man, niggas don't know how much power we hold together. But at the same time, being fair, cause it's like you know, a nigga can't. A nigga can't just owe for the money for the money and disregard the lives that's been taken due to that. the wall. Yeah, you feel me? I, a nigga that's can't, the hard part. So it, it, it's, it's so touchy. That situation is so touchy. All I can say is I wish it never happened. Ooh, man. Yeah. And I when I was like back in the hood for a minute, back in the tray, <clears throat> feeling the heartbeat of these young niggas. And I know it's probably the same on your side, man, but when I'm talking to them and they got shit bags, they on crutches, they got bullet wounds. It's like fucking real war. These same ones got sticks all in their pants, pulling out long artillery machine guns, man. And I can't I can't stop you from doing something that's I can obviously look at and see. Well, y'all going through something, man. It's serious. That shit serious. That shit serious. That's what I said in that song. It's we like, were getting money back then, got it. Nah, Different, you go even, to the yard, y'all squabble, and that niggas can't even go to the, man, y'all, what about Yates, man? What the fuck? Because that was the thing back then, though. You see what I'm saying? The money solidified niggas back then. Now it's the bodies being hard, the stepper, who acting retarded. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you get pushed to a broke nigga, a broke nigga with a bunch of bodies. <laughs> if you think about it, niggas do shit for hoes' attention. You know what I'm saying? That's why these niggas are acting like hoes, because these hoes accepting hoes niggas. So it's the new norm. That's what the new normal is. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what's going on. Man, I'm talking about it hurt my heart so bad to see it, man. Because I, when I promise you, bro, man, Scott Block was from 45 and Scott all the way to 45 and 288 at one time. Then that bitch just started. I ain't gonna lie, that shit really, Breaking man, up. that shit can be so mad. That's why it hurt me to my heart, man. Like, it hurt me to my heart that the South Side, like, South Side, we talking about the legendary South Side. Going at it with each other. Man, Screw shit. pulled all that apart. We had it at one time. I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna be fair with the young niggas, man. At one time, it was the Alley versus CUNY Homes. Mm -hmm. Jack Mob versus the Bricks. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even move around Third Ward too. You had to, you know, nah, DA, nah. Lucky Seven, you know, Almeda. Nah, niggas was fun. Niggas Screws was really broke the bars down to say, okay, all right, I'm repping the tray. You know what I'm saying? It used to be, mean something to hold them fingers up. Niggas wasn't from that motherfucker holding it up, bro, because we had everything that the world wanted. That unity. That unity, man, because Screw bought it together. Then it started being cool to hang with niggas from Botany. Hang with niggas. We was out. The stone was considered third ward. You go Dixie, man. That's the fucking Dixon Mason line right there, man. You know, with Blick at right there, man. All that right there, bro. That's our way. My grandma stay right there, right? The next street over Tampa from Big Modem grew up. Man, I ain't gonna lie, OG. It's just, Come on, man. It's just, it's just so fuck. I ain't gonna lie to you, too. And I ain't, and not your kind of OGs. Mm -hmm. A lot of these other kind of these no G's, these, these no G's, these, these old niggas with money. There you they go. They fucked the game up too. Cause they handing out the, they nah, feeding they, the bullshit. They feeding the bullshit. They feeding the bullshit. The nigga doing so much whole shit to where, at the end you, of the you know day, why? They scared of y'all. They scared of them young niggas, man. 
They pussies. Yeah, they pussies for sure. They pussies with money. Nah, they scared of them young niggas, so you letting them young niggas dictate what you got going on. Yo say so A-O-G, ain't shit, man. AOG, check this out. Woo! I had a situation not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. And I'm talking. I'm trying to I'm trying to straighten some shit. It's a situation that came about and I'm trying to straighten it out. But in the midst of me straightening it out, I look up and I see a few older niggas in the room mm-hmm. while I'm talking to some younger niggas, it's just younger dudes. My little bro, I'm talking to the little bro, I'm talking to the bros or whatever. But I look up and I see like some niggas that, that's, that's older than me that I used to look up to in the room and it kind of ruined me the wrong way because it's like, damn, you niggas sitting back quiet while I'm trying to show these niggas the right way. And y'all got me doing this shit by myself when this the game I got from y'all. See, they 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 grow they it's go the, up and fall off so bad they really depending on your will. Kind of like we talking about with the young boy situation. It's like they crazy. they they riding your dick cause your bag right. And if the bag right, these niggas turn into you the OG. Man, it's crazy. Man, <laughs> oh, man Facts. listen, OG. I done had niggas two times old as me call me big bro about this money shit. <laughs> And I know you know you grew up with my mama. I know you yeah. know you used to give me dollars to go yeah, to the yeah, store. Yeah. What the fuck you, you mean? Doing, I'm man. your big bro. Yeah. My mama always told my me. My little big bro. That, that's the new one. Let me the niggas little you big watch bro. out for. Them be the niggas oh, going to have to put that fire on man, later on. Like, I down swear you is, but they just trying to feed you whatever to get to the get back niggas to the circle. They trying to get next to you. They trying to get back to the, to the money, man. Motherfucker. They call that shit little big bro. Man, that's my little big bro. What the fuck what are the you fuck talking about? What the fuck do that mean? That means you What's just that sucking mean? money dick. You sucking a dick. You, you sucking the whole dick. That's that cut nigga got some paper, you gonna eat his dick out the phone. That's yeah. why I'm glad it's so genuine, man. Like, man, like fuck all that, man. I ain't gonna lie with you. I just wanted to bring Kyle. that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Probably the only nigga that can call. One of the only niggas that can call a nigga just where I fuck with I know it's genuine. And it's yeah. a different time right now. It's oh, not yeah. no genuine shit out here right now. So it's so refreshing to be around that shit. I appreciate it, man, because I ain't I, I don't know how to do all that. We gonna get some money, we gonna do some shit, uh, we gonna get to we gonna figure it out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Man, don't compromise yourself, man. No, That's no. how I tell niggas, man, don't do that, man, boy, for a piece of money, man. Money gonna come and go. A nigga like Trump gonna get in office and throw it right back on the streets again, man. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of way you gonna get the money, man, but keep your integrity together, man. Man, listen. Whew. My big brother, one of my, somebody that's real close with me, he in jail right now. A situation with his, some one of his partners. You know, everybody that love you not gonna love me, everybody that love me not gonna love you. Straight But up. we love each other to the moon and back. Already. You see what I'm saying? Already. So it was a situation to where one of his people, you know, he, yeah, his people probably couldn't get up under me. You know, everybody be working the move. And I play that little bro role so well with these <laughs> piss ass <laughs> niggas, they be thinking I'm green. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be thinking I'm green. They be until, hoping you green. They be hoping I'm green. <laughs> they know you ain't green. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, yo, you got big muscles in the streets, man. They know it ain't green. Man, they man. just praying you don't see them coming. And, and, and it's kind of like to the money, to the money thing. It's like, you know, this is my boy. Like this is my this one of my OG partners. Like this boy, I learned a lot from you. You know what I'm saying? And you call me. And you talking with me, we, we got our own situation going on. So you really supposed to be focused on what me and you got going on. Amen. You asking me about another nigga. Oh, man. You asking me about another nigga, and it's kind of like you not asking me in a want to know tone. You asking me in an accusatory tone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you you in a box, though. Oh, and the first thing I could think to say was, shit, like, you know what, bro? That's cool. I'm finna be back in position to control the narrative since I see you. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. You with the ones that's controlling the narrative right now, you ain't come asking nigga shit. You just went with. I'm talking about they you know do it. I already like, know it. Just throw it right me. on a nigga. I ain't, that man. shit blew me because it's like, damn, home. I had way more. Like, I thought you was one of them. How long you was gone, Gaddy? I was gone thirty, 30 months. I got three. Thirty years. months. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. three years. Like, them people fucked up, man. You know, halfway house time. Man. You ain't get none of that. Yeah, they fucked up. I got and that was your first time though. down. Yeah, I that, can't cry. Fed, boy, you can't cry. Well, I was just gonna say, because you went fed, baby, so. Boy, them niggas yeah. getting a 10 and acting like it's six months stay jail. I'm like, Lord, no. 
I'm like, Lord, no. What? Now, let me show you how they do it. This is how, this is how them feds do it. Thank God I ain't had to go. But I know I've been going since Giddens all the way up. It ain't a system I ain't been in but the feds. Nah, for sure. Say, look here, because I respect the boys. Look here. <laughs> Cause they, I was just thinking about it. I'm like, they fucked me up, man. I'm trying to, they crossed you out so bad. They had you in a cool mix with some shit. That I'm like, damn, boy, that's crazy. But whatever, I don't give a fuck. That whole experience was priceless. That's dude. what I know. I know you was like, man, what the fuck? That whole experience was priceless. And right now, even right now, like, man, my whole shit is slow now. No, G. Like, it's slow. I, the street's slow. And I know it ain't just our town. Like, nigga, yeah, well, I, I, I be here, I be there, I be here, I be there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just the state of the streets fucked up. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. And yes. It's kind of like, man, if it wasn't for me going through what I went through, I'd be more anxious to try to right the situation. But right. I, that shit taught me I, I ain't perfect. I still be, you know. Yeah, yeah. We balance. all make it's mistakes. You got yes to balance y'all, off, man. But it, it it taught me patience, you know what I'm saying? It taught me patience because I understand. That was my next question. Did you did you learn something while you was dying patience, there? Patience. That's real, man. Patience. And I understand like the importance of not letting a nigga group me out. All them see them niggas don't know. They don't know why I don't be posting them on my page or doing a group pic like. Yeah, nigga, yeah. That's a conspiracy, nigga. I ain't a fucking whole with niggas conspiracy. like that. Man, that's a conspiracy. I got book like that, man. I got books off pictures off Instagram. That's man. what I, I was just finna say. Off. They fucked over you, but yeah, they, they just put you with a certain. Man, no, see, you ain't seen no niggas on my page since. <laughs> Unless it's free to bros, you can't tell me that. Right. Unless yeah. it's free to bros, they already doing what they doing. Yeah, if it's yeah. free to it's free to bros or. Very suddenly, I do a birthday shout out, but that shit be getting so gay, I don't even do that either. I know that's right. You post this motherfucker just because you see it, and then motherfucker birthday Call last me. week. I ain't post this. I don't even do that shit no more. <laughs> Welcome to Instagram. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, <laughs> when did the streets become so insta, OG? I swear, I that don't know crazy. when it happened, and Lord, they finna start TikToking now. Now they tick tocking. Now they tick tocking for sure. They tick tocking like a motherfucker, man. I'm talking about this shit running their world. I was, you did the right thing, man. And I know I don't want to leave this one spot right here because five in here, you know, it's my Muslim brother right here right, too. Right, right, right. And you say you got down there, man, and and, and you found the dean down there, and you almost, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Well, like I tell you, we all born Muslim. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All it means, and you know, and this is mm -hmm. for the rest of the world. One who submits to God. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. You was born Muslims. Trees submit to God all day. The grass, when it go, it submits. Dogs submit. You know what I mean? If you just take a look at the earth itself, it submits to the universe, man. Right, sure. That's what the creator of the universe, you know what I'm saying? So like that, you already have the subtle, humble mind state of a Muslim because like I told you, I don't run around saying, you, you wouldn't have knew he was Muslim if I didn't tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I most definitely wouldn't. What you would have had to do is peep out moves and watch him. But because he white, you kind of would have been like, maybe he just a real nigga. Nah, you know got, what I'm saying? Maybe just a quiet it. nigga. Maybe he just a cool motherfucker. It's the dean. This nigga done been to penitentiary, done, done calendars. You know what I'm saying? But that, you see how that dean got him? That's why we relate so hard, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's going, you wonder what the bond of me and you is. It's deeper than just the bloodline. It's, it's those who A alike, think alike, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the really shit I ever wrote. You feel me? But I'm glad you got a chance to experience that because it's a journey that just keeps going. Like I told you, we're going to do Ramadan this year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you still don't jump, rush to nah, sit back process. and just, you know. You know it's, a process. it's a process, man. It's a process. It's a way of life. Yeah. It's a way of life. You know what I'm saying? And I've been screaming. You're smart, shit. man. I called my teeth for you. You heard what she said. I've been screaming this shit for like, I mean, I've been screaming this for like a, Almost a decade. Like, girl, that's cool. Man, I've been, I've been just intrigued to it, but I ain't never just rushed it. Oh, I've just been mm -hmm. watching. That's how you do when you know my when the time right. It's gonna wash all your sins away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for real though. That's what my heart is for sure though. I swear. And the thing is, man, it's just like you you grown for that. And like even with the state of the streets, you were smart enough to drop a hammer. See, motherfuckers ain't that smart. They not thinkers. They don't know how to reinvent themselves. They don't know how to keep themselves involved. What's going on? Don't let your talent fall to the wayside. Shit, the, the streets slow. It's time to drop an album. Nah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie to you. You that shit, man. Them 30 months pushed a lot of motherfuckers 
gave a lot of motherfuckers life. I just want you to know. Nah, like, sure. you and Young Al, hey, hey, man, y'all the leaders of that new school, man. I told Young Al the same thing. He just did. You got locked up. He kind of eased off the gas due to... Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, but... Record Al, labels and shit. Al, 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 humble beast. I know it. Al, humble beast. Al, a hook king. Al, That's what I know. Don't get his flowers like he deserves. Yeah. But I feel like 2024, Al gonna, he, he for the show the real. He gonna he shock ready. the real. He ready. He gonna shock the real. He ready. And I got my money on y'all, man, because like I tell you, man, like, y'all the leaders of that new school. You, as a lyricist, you can really shape and mold these young niggas' mind with the talk you talking. Yeah, they gonna listen to me because it's the popular thing to do. Mm -hmm. But a nigga really paid attention to Mike D because they knew, hey boy, that boy walking that talk, man. You wanna know what's crazy, OG? Mm -hmm. I just told one of my niggas the other day, I'm like, bro, we really the new OGs. <laughs> For real? We really the new OG. If you think about it, like. Yeah, it's uh, that. Y'all double OG, triple OG, but yeah. like, to them, 18 year olds and 12, if they can relate to you, like I'm one of the ones that you know, they, they relate to, man. I can I be slowing a bunch of shit down just off the of love, not off no rah rah nigga scared of me. It's just like, man, that's got it, man. We can't, we can't, we can't crash out on bro time. Know what I'm saying? Exactly. And and I feel like that's what made me. Really that's what Yeah.